I've been cooped up inside for far too long. Uh, well, I don't want to keep you too long. Um, and I'm sure you, you've got a lot of things on your plate for the day. So first of all, we do want to say thank you so much for, for checking in with us and uh, talking with us. How are you How are you feeling right now? How are you dealing with this whole changing landscape of COVID-19? Well, I mean, in all honesty, I think that it has definitely uh, made me more appreciative in a lot of ways of just, you know, friends, family, you know, so many people I have lost along the way, you know, it, it made me really take some deep inner thought, inner looks. And, and honestly, it's, I, I be saying, I say this a lot, but it's the truth. I still can't believe this. I really still cannot believe this. I mean, when I look outside and I see how empty the streets are, and I and I see no one out there. It's just the most wildest situation I think I've ever experienced in my whole life. You, do you feel the same way? You know, my wife's in Atlanta, so I'm new to New York. And I got here, um, I came from Atlanta in the beginning of March. And um, it was right before everything shut down. Actually, my wife came up with me and the day that she left was the day that uh, the NBA suspended its operations. And every, and then, you know, within like a day or two of that, everything was shut down. So right. I, I'm in this weird position where I don't know the city. I haven't gotten out. I mean, I, I'm in Manhattan right now. I'm looking out my window. There's nobody out there. And uh, it, That's what I'm saying. You know what I mean? So it's been... Um, it's been crazy for me. Uh, it's been crazy for everyone. It's been, you know, it's just been, it's just been wild. I mean, when I'm saying crazy, I mean crazy. I am from New York City, and New York has not been the same ever since. And it's just been the most, I, I mean, I can't even get back to New York. You know what I mean? It was, it, New York was shut down. I couldn't get back to New York. My family is up there. I'm out here, you know, in, in Florida and it's just been a, it's been an overwhelming situation. So how am I doing? How am I handling it? I'm making the best of it in, in, in every way that I can. I'm really taking a lot of the time, though, to get the message out there in every way that I could possibly get the message out there for people to really take advantage of, of, of just, like, listening to, to what needs to be done, like just washing your hands you know, social distancing, you know, wearing your mask. I mean, because so many, and I'm going to just be completely honest, so many uh, blacks, Hispanics, I mean, on a much higher level than any other races is losing their life right now. You know what I mean? And I know, and I know that there's some truth to it because some very, very close people to me, um, passed away and some were very very sick and barely made it through so this is this is not a game this is for real so i'm doing everything i can to use all my gifts and and, and all my relationships to get this out as far as and, and as fast as i can possibly do it i'm real sorry to hear that uh that that you that you've lost some people close to you to this virus um yeah. i'm very sorry to hear that how how did you were you contacted with the idea because uh, we just talked to the doctor and, and he said you know he's worked with you on a lot of health initiatives before and right. this seemed like a natural uh, collaboration to reach out to the youth so how did how did your involvement uh, come about well I've been involved with hip hop public health since it started me and Dr Williams started it together and it was basically to take hip hop and use it in a positive form to, and as a positive force to get messages out there to kids. And to and, and the kids would affect the parents. And I wanted to hit them both. So if, the, if, if somebody had, you know, diabetes, high blood pressure, you know, uh, childhood obesity, that, that's, that was heavy in, in, you know, in the country, I was looking at, hey, well, let me just do whatever I can to, to get that message out. Like health for me has been a major part of my life. You know, I was the guy walking around with bottles of water when we was on tour back in the days when, 
cats were, you know, drinking and doing whatever, and I was always that guy. So when I got with Dr. Williams, I said this would be a perfect relationship to 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 bring together. And when we did it, you know, we kept doing projects. But this particular project, um, he called me up to be be on it because he said, "Yo, this is serious," and he's on the front line. So when he told me what was happening on the front line. I knew that it was serious, but I didn't know how serious it was completely. And he said, it's unreal. He said, he's been all over the world doing, you know, medical work everywhere. He's never seen nothing like this. So I just basically sat down and came up with an idea. And we have a producer who work with us all the time. And he's brilliant, named Artie Green. And basically, I heard what they had. And then I, I wrote something to, well, I didn't even write it, actually. I just, it just popped in my mind. And then when I heard the beat, I said, well, you know, let me change it. You know what I mean? And it was inspired by this young lady, Skyla, who, who said she wanted to hear a different track because she was going to do the track with us. So she sent me some ideas. So I listened to them and I came up with my own idea for it. And then basically one thing led to another. Then I just had this chorus in my hand, wash your hands. And I thought it was so simple that it can have an effect because of the simplicity of it, you know? And then after that simplicity of that chorus, I said, you know what? I remember We Are The World. And I was talking to a friend of mine, Janelle Snowden, and she's a, she works in news and stuff. And we was talking about We Are The World. And I said, you know, it would be really good if we can do a We Are The World in a way where nobody has to sing, you know, because I've seen the conflict with trying to get artists to get on the record, and that would have taken up time. Dr. Williams already said it's going to take a lot of time, I mean, time 